Good morning. Emeka Rollers Ages here. Good morning. That's the song I use for your intro. There is something called a modicum or a shred of self-respect. I will go back to Monday evening when I first saw Hilda's video in which I was tagged and rightly so. I reached out to you on DM. You said to me you were taking a flight somewhere. I said to you, say flight. You said you would reach out the next day. I waited. The next day, I called you. You said you were on a TV interview and that you would call me back 12 p.m. on the dot. The conversations are there. You didn't call back. I called you, your phone rang. Called again, even after I saw your Plus TV interview in which you were grandstanding, saying or speaking out of your buccal cavity that you would have to check your members list or your registration to see if Hilda Dokobo and I are members of the Actors Guild of Nigeria. Um, in February, when you wrote me a letter via your secretary, Abu, wanting to confer on me the title of veteran actor of the guild, I wonder whom you were writing to. The letter is there. I've put it up on my Twitter handle, which is at Henshaw Kate. Also on the 7th of March, when you reached out to me to travel somewhere with you as an esteemed member or person in the entertainment industry. You see, this reaching out to me, I guess it's because I am someone you have to deal with. What I would like you to do is to concentrate on making sure the guild is an association worthy of note. This is the same guild where you have said that we shouldn't come on social media to talk about these things and that we should go and sit down somewhere. As you can see, I'm seated. And that if you have to dig into people's personal past, nobody would stand, dig, whatever. No one doesn't have a past. But you see this, your patron, your patron, whom you feign ignorance about what he did and the human rights violation he meted out to a human being who so happens to be a woman. The case is still in court. I guess you couldn't bother to do your research on the pedigree of the person whom you confer titles on. You're not a president unto yourself. You are president of an association of which you say I'm not a member of. So I guess Auntie Joke is not a member. You said a member is someone who has paid dues in the last two years. My question to you is, why write to me to confer a title? Am I a non-member? The successes I have achieved and many others are in spite of the Actors Guild of Nigeria, not because of any existing structures that have been put in place. This is the same social media where we come with bowls to beg for arms from the public because our members cannot be looked after. There's no health care. I wonder what it is you whom have been made president by, I don't know whom, what legitimacy you have conferred on your members. Now you have groups, North East, whatever, saying, oh, we are being sponsored, uh, whatever. AGN is not a political group. It's not a club. I have been a member of AGN right from when we were in the National Theater, helping out Remy Ohiajianya, working with AGK as Hiego. When there's trouble, you people need these faces to help confer legitimacy to your causes. But when it suits you, for whatever reason, whatever thing you have collected or whatever, you have gone outside 
and invited people who do not have respect for a fellow human being. His peers in National Assembly or Senate have not decided his fate. Maybe they will. Maybe they will not. This is Nigeria. But you see, the day I keep quiet, I keep silent on the things that matter is the day that I die. Because the man dies in all who keep silent in the face of tyranny. This is not an attack on that person. But he's a public servant. And so his actions then had an effect on everyone, more so women. So Emeka Rolas Ejezie, you cannot tell me to keep quiet. Please check your register all you want. This is not the last of it. Keep talking. I guess you had a very nice feeling, you know, this goosebumps when we were, you were on TV. You never expect it. But hey, I know what it feels like to be in the limelight, to have cameras pointing at you and a microphone. So please, by all means, speak. But you see this world, it's a small place. We are being told about social distancing because of the coronavirus. Perhaps you use that as a measure to distance yourself from certain individuals who do not bode well for this association of ours. Perhaps you make sure that no actor has to come on social media to beg because of health reasons and that indeed their welfare will be taken care of. Thank you.